Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be chasing CSX's Y102 job from Pinoca Yard to Tryon Street with Engineer Marcus and Conductor Clay on board. We would start the day off in CSX's Pinoca Yard, originally owned by the Piedmont Northern Railway. The name Piedmont Northern was adopted for both the North Carolina Line and the South Carolina Line in 1914. The railroad operated streetcar service in Gastonia on Franklin Boulevard from 1911 to 1948. Passenger and freight trains operated on both sections of the Piedmont Northern. The railroad was absorbed by the Seaboard Coastline Railroad in 1969, now CSX. The train would be powered by two SD40-3 locomotives. The program initiated in early 2011. The projected goal was a total of 300 units. The upgrades to the Dash 3 includes new cabs that can withstand crashes, heating and air conditioning systems, new control systems, positive train control, and modernized starting systems. Before leaving the yard, the train would have to wait on northbound manifest M652 to clear. After given permission from the Jacksonville dispatcher, Marcus would make a beeline for Tryon Street Yard. the train would have to cross the Norfolk Southern Piedmont Division at C.P. Graham. After getting permission from the dispatcher again, the train was on the way. The train would arrive at Tryon Street Yard, where he would drop cars off for the Norfolk Southern to pick up. There's not much to say here, so enjoy this short montage of some drone shots.
Now, the train would head back to Pinoca Yard. We would catch him again crossing the diamonds at Graham. But first, Norfolk Southern's high priority intermodal train would have to pass, and Marcus would be put on the back burner. It's 10.55 a.m. and Marcus was given the green light. from the yard, some people had a terrible crash and blew out the signal box. After flagging the crossing, the train would be on its way again. After a short day on the rails, the train arrived back into Pinoco Yard. Now the crew would tie down the locomotives in the engine track and it was time for lunch. Another huge thanks to the crew of the Y-102 for letting us chase him around all day. I thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.